In today's video, I'm going to look at another 33 marker, and the title of this uh, 33 marker is Evaluate the Global Impact of One Pharmaceutical Transnational Corporation in Disease Eradication. So, what I'd like us to do at this point is stop the video uh, and think about the key things that you would have to do in an uh, essay of this sort, and then have a go at it, and then look at the way that I've approached it uh, in this model answer. So stop the video now, write down what you think you need to go into this essay, um, and then uh, play it again once you've done that. What actually needs to go into this essay is you'll need to have uh, a very short intro, four, maximum four lines. You take 45 minutes to do this, um, 56 minutes of extra time. Should write over a thousand words. I say a good estimation is um, somewhere between 1,200 words. Uh, which is about four pages of exam paper. We're using the PEST writing structure, which I've discussed in other videos, three clear arguments, and again, there should be a short conclusion. I'm going to uh, go through the, the main start of the argument and then um, look at what, in brief what my second and third argument would be, which relates to another video that I've already made. So this question, when I'm evaluating uh, anything, I'm looking at the strengths and weaknesses um, but before I even go into looking at pharmaceutical companies, I need to have a, 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 clear, a clear definition um, of the key term in my intro. And again, no more than four lines. So here I've given my definition of disease eradication, how it's uh, the attempt to remove disease completely uh, from a human population. And then I would have a brief line or two that says, uh, hear about TNCs do have a role to play, but they're not the only strategy. So grassroots and global strategies are two others that I mentioned. And then I have put my thesis um, where I have said, I actually think that the most effective strategy for disease eradication is global strategies. If you read the other essay uh, review I did on disease eradication for fruit free markets, it's a very, very similar argument. I don't have to have nine or 10 different arguments. I just have to know arguments very clearly um, for certain bits of the course. So I've written my four lines to introduce it. And then my first point, I am, again, making this argument that I take the words from the title, I make a clear but complex point, and I then make sure that I'm explaining my point with evidence. So here I've put the pharmaceutical TNCs, um, they are important in eradicating disease because they tackle disease in LIDCs, particularly uh, communicable diseases, which are significant. I then go on to talk about GlaxoSmithKline, how that they are uh, developing treatments for HIV, TB and malaria, which are three of the priority diseases that WHO has um, put for eradication. I also say how they produce vaccines, 800 million doses and 80% of these go to the developing world. Here, I also say that they are providing discounts for LIDCs. My argument here is very strong in terms of saying that people like GlaxoSmithKline are key players in actually trying to eradicate disease, particularly in countries like LIDCs, where we have a lot of communicable diseases. That's my main argument. Um, so, this is the argument that I put forward, but that is only half of, of the, the marks that I'd get for my first argument. Remember, using this PEST structure, if you're not sure what it is, go and look at the other videos I've made on this. Um, and I'm either going to double down and say, yes, this is very important, or I'm going to say, yeah, but maybe this isn't as um, significant as I initially made out. Here I'm going um, for saying it's the yeah, but, and in this example, I'm going to talk about success. So here I've talked about how TNCs actually develop lots of drugs um, and it costs billions to do that, but often these are just mitigating consequences. I give evidence here to say that GSK um, K haven't actually produced a drug that has eradicated HIV, TB, or malaria. So while they can produce antiretroviral drugs that mitigate the consequences, they have been unsuccessful in actually eradicating any disease so far. Uh, I've put a, a second bit of evaluation to say that they often need cooperation with national governments. And because they need that, 
it can often in places where there's corruption, which a lot of um, LIDCs suffer from corruption or conflict, and therefore this doesn't happen, it's unsuccessful and can be difficult. So I'm essentially saying, as I link back to the question here, that they can mitigate diseases and their effects, but are having actual limited success at eradicating disease. I have put the, uh, the word eradicate very, very clearly in my uh, point, very, very clearly in my link back to the question, because the question is asking me to use those words. So that's my main argument. Um, I've talked about in another video how we can look at strategies for gl global eradication. Um, and I am not going to kind of replicate them here. I'd go back and watch that video in depth. But I can use the same similar arguments here um, to, to fill out the rest of this free market. I could talk about global strategies being very effective as they have resources to eradicate diseases like smallpox, but that there are spatial differences in eradicating some of the diseases, and polio is a good example there. I then would talk about how grassroots strategies are effective. Um, they can work from the local level, but all the way up to the national, and then use guinea worm in Ghana, but they lack the resources and cooperation to actually work at a global scale. That is a very, very similar argument to the one that I discussed in a previous essay. We, once we know the content very, very well, we can apply it to very, very, very similar questions, but just adjust the structure potentially. Uh, again, in my conclusion, I talked about conclusions before. I'm not adding new information. I'm simply summarizing my argument. Here, I say that pharmaceutical TNCs can mitigate disease. Um, however, they haven't actually eradicated disease. Therefore, their impact is limited, while global strategies are much more effective because they can fund and coordinate approaches that have eradicated diseases um, as the river of smallpox. This is only a short tutorial on how to actually write that. Uh, if I did write that all, I would be hoping to be over a thousand words, and that would give me a balance of the AO1 nine marks and the, the AO2 application of knowledge 24 marks. If you'd like to look at the global strategy arguments in a bit more depth, there is a video which you can look up on the channel which goes to them in depth.